All right, let's get going and talk quickly about a starter in the Cessna 182, the Continental engines. They actually have a starter in the back and they have an adapter which then turns it at a 90 degree angles, acts as a clutch in case the motor backfires. So I'm learning this the hard way. My starter has oil out the back end and that bearing or something's gone wrong with it. So we're gonna pull that out. Hopefully it's nothing to do with the adapter. Um, I did actually smell that grease or some lubricant that got onto the manifold. And so that's just a little. All right, we're in the shop now and let me share with you what I've learned about starter systems. There are two motors, as you know, or engines I should call them. There's the Lycoming and then there's the Continental. Lycomings have a flywheel as I can show you with this picture here. Um, that's in the front and then there's the shaft that comes out with gears on it known as Bendix often or Bendix right and that will grab the flywheel teeth and uh, Basically spin your motor and then when you let go of the ignition switch It retracts the shaft and then the motor started and you're all good. It's a pretty transparent system the Continentals on the other hand um, These are large engines, you know three cylinders on one side three cylinders on the other total of six um, have these components I wanted to go over. Uh, so the first one would be the solenoid, uh, which is a magnetic switch that is activated when you click your ignition. Um, and you can hear it click. I heard that happen, but the engine didn't start several times. Now here's an example of what it sounded like when it's kind of working, but it's definitely a wounded starter system. The next component would be the actual motor itself, which I'm sure has failed because of the lubricants dripping out of it. Um, let me show you a picture. When I opened it up here, you can see where there's a uh, shaft. So we work our way through the system. That's a linear steel piece. And that's going to fit into a female system on what we call the starter adapter. And you can see here where there's a female part with some bearings where it fits in. From this view, it looked fine, although a little bit greasy and oily. Um, and then, so if we take a look now at the actual, um, the adapter now, I like to think of it as a converter that's both, um, two things, it, it turns the, the motion of the starter motor at 90 degrees into the engine. Here's some of the parts that I looked up. First of all, you would have a spring. You also have a sleeve. And that spring, when it's energized, I believe expands and creates friction on that, on that sleeve. It's connected to a shaft that is actually, I believe, fixed to the mechanisms within your engine. And it clamps onto that somehow. Uh, and then it spins it kind of in, the, in this housing. Here's a picture, actually, of the, the whole starter adapter system with the housing and, and so on. It's pretty obscure looking from the outside. But hopefully showing you those parts kind of helps you understand it a little bit. Um, and so basically I've done some research on this, some things that I've learned. Um, you want to make sure when you start your engine that uh, you listen. Uh, it should, you know, it's going to take time to start for starters, um, depending on the battery and the temperature and so on. And the sound that I heard sounded pretty normal to me, but not sure 100%. I know if there's slippage with that clutch and so on, you'll hear a different sound. Fortunately, there were some videos out there in the world that I could, um, you know, kind of listen to it myself and see it doesn't sound like that, uh, going like this. So again, I'm not a mechanic here, but I thought I'd give you some of the uh, details here that might help you out. The smoking gun for sure, whether you're a mechanic or not, was when you really see this goop coming out of the back end of, of your starter motor. You know, that's definitely clear evidence. That, that oil filter and that manifold was clean, you know, before I looked at it. Um, so anyway, so just I wanted to tell you if that's it, I'm happy as a clam. Um, the mechanical problems would be pretty straightforward to rebuild that, put it back in. It's pretty easy to access actually on the Cessna 182. Um, however, I know this, this starter adapter is not. All right, well that concludes this episode or this video of the starter and the starter adapter for the Cessna. 182.